It might sound strange, but frog legs might be behind the inspiration for one of the most famous Gothic novels of all time, Frankenstein. Yes, that's right, frog legs. During the 18th century, there had been a number of quite interesting scientific experiments. One of those that stood out was by an Italian scientist called Luigi Galvani. He was able to demonstrate that if you pass a current of electricity through a dead frog, its legs will twitch. At the time, this sparked uh, an enormous debate and uh, lots and lots of discussion because suddenly it seemed as though it, it might be possible to reanimate dead flesh and give life to it and you know they didn't have the science that we have nowadays and so this really did seem a remarkable thing and so of course after this uh, experiment by Galvani many thinkers intellectuals writers were considering the the, the implications of his experiment and uh, none so other than Mary Shelley's own father William Godwin who was a renowned London intellectual now Mary Shelley's mother Mary Wollstonecraft sadly passed away uh, while she was giving birth to Mary Eight. However, Mary Shelley did grow up in a household that was full of books, full of ideas, full of thinkers, full of writers. I think it's quite reasonable to suppose that somewhere along the way a uh, discussion would have started around this topic of Galvani's experiment and I'm confident that this probably sparked off a series of interesting ideas in Mary Shelley's head. The other thing to mention is that interestingly in the novel itself we never actually find out how the monster is given life. Chapter 5 of the novel is when the creature actually comes to life for the first time. It's a dreary windy day in November, very gothic. It's dark, there's only a dimly lit candle to give light, the rain is lashing outside and this is the setting in which the creature first comes alive and he uh, raises up from his bed, I suppose, or whatever it was that he was lying on, stretches his hands, his, his hand out towards Victor Frankenstein. How did the monster actually come to life? Many people have speculated that it was through some form of electricity, but what's interesting in that chapter is we never actually get that. We're never, it's never explicitly told in black and white how the creature comes to life. In the first couple of chapters of the novel when Victor Frankenstein is filling us in on his background and his life and early childhood, he describes a moment where he vividly recalls a tree stump being hit by a bolt of lightning and he's overwhelmed by the destructive power of nature and that it leaves behind nothing but a blackened stump. It seems clear to me that the experiments that had been going on in the years preceding Mary Shelley's birth, but nevertheless these ideas circulated wide, widely in society at the time because they were potentially so groundbreaking, even though it isn't explicitly stated in the novel, many of us, you know, critics, readers alike, have kind of come to the conclusion that it, it probably was electricity that Victor used or some form thereof to actually animate his creature. I hope you found this little snippet interesting. Uh, let me know if you enjoy these more anecdotal videos where I just talk about something a little bit strange in literature or if you would prefer a deep dive into a literary topic. Do let me know in the comments down below. Thanks and see you next time.